Exercise 15. This is a interesting exercise where you will see that a lot of functions are being used right here. So look at your cat exercises document at exercise 15 to follow how we will draw up this contour. We will select all elements, we will delete them and we have to define our reference point. In this case, look at your drawing in the exercise we'll, we will define a reference point where the horizontal or vertical dash line is and where the dimensions of 18 and 10 are present. So we will start with our first vertical line on the left side by moving to line sketch and enter a value of minus 18 start the endpoint in Y is not that important right now so our next is the fillet of 10 and therefore we need to define our radius of 35 so we move to reset X value is 0 and our Y is 50 and we will have a clockwise arc from there to there with a radius of 35 okay we will fill it this with a radius of 10 and you will see that on the left top we have this kind of pyramid shaped part and you will see it's a little bit rotated what we could do is we could move our reference point, our zero point, to the center of this arc which would be a displacement of our axis of move x0, y50 so that's our new zero point now if we could rotate our axis let's say 45 degrees it would even simplify our actions so we would move to axis rotate you rotate in the Z axis, in this case 45 degrees. You will see our axis being rotated, which means, like for example, if I would draw a vertical line, I would enter zero. This would be a vertical line if you look at this axis rotation. So we move one step backwards, just that you would comprehend how it works. And we will define our radius of 8 first. So we move to our coordinates which in this case would be an x of 0 and y 60 a radius value of 8 from this angle to this angle we need to reverse our direction of our arc which is better this way and we can click on OK now if you would deselect this chain by clicking, hitting the shift button and clicking this element we could define a line under an angle on this arc so we would move to line angle and we would enter a angle of 90 or let's say minus 90 minus 15 and we would enter a length of let's say 25 mil and we would get this line. We could then select this arc and fill at this corner with 10 and we could reverse our chain, select a chain, reverse and enter an angle on that side as well which would be minus 90 plus 15. There's our new angle and that would almost say that our problem is being solved here so we could reset our axis which we will we will do by moving to axis reset and we will draw our next arc which has the same center point as this arc which is 0 and that would be 50 from this angle to that angle a clockwise direction and a value of 35. Okay, we can
can fill it this with 10 okay and we could take a look at our drawing and we see the same thing happening on the right side here so we would first define our arc of R8 on the far right side which is x60.43 and y0 and a radius of 8 from there to approximately there there's our arc we could define a line with an angle which would be 180 plus half of 30 is 15 is 195 and the length approximately let's say 10 or 15 millimeters like this we would reverse our selected chain and define an angle of 180 minus 15 okay we can select this arc and we could automatically fill it these two elements with a value of 10 and there is our fillet we could then reverse our selected chain and define the lower big circle of 42.5 reset x value would be 10 mil the y value would be minus 50 radius 42.5 from this angle to that angle or maybe to this angle and click on OK and also right here would we could define our fillet radius 10 and that leaves us only one filleting right here so we select this line move to radius and click on OK so there's our profile so you can see in this exercise that you would use the axis menu by moving your axis to a certain snap point or you can enter a displacement in X and Y and afterwards or immediately immediately you can also rotate your axis which would give you the opportunity to simplify your actions because like for example this arc was if you look at your drawing being dimensioned from this point under an angle so you would use this sometimes this menu so try to make this exercise and take a look at the website for more videos about Tensor so you can find out more how Tensor works.